Welcome to the Keeping It Real Estate Podcast. I'm Ali Vasquez with Karis Realty Group based out of Frederick, Maryland. Let's talk about Carrington Drive. It was a townhouse that's in Whittier. Uh, it is owned by one of my former students. We'll call her, mm, let's call her Brenda. Uh, Brenda owns this townhouse. Uh, and not only was she my former student, she was also my uh, I also babysat for her growing up. So I know her very well. She's obviously a very good student. She listens very well. Hi, Brenda. Love you. And she decided that she was going to put her house up for sale. So we uh, put the house up for sale and we had a buyer and the buyer was super interested and really wanted, I mean, it was a very desirable neighborhood at that time. The market was booming. And so they, there were several offers and we chose this buyer so during this transaction, unfortunately, something happened with the buyer financially where she could no longer uh, get approved for the loan. Now, uh, that was not anything that was her fault. Uh, they just had, you know, at some point she just did not qualify for financing. And so unfortunately, she had to terminate and we had to put it back on the market. While that was going on with Brenda's home, I had another former student. Let's call her Ashley. Brenda was my student assistant. Ashley was my student assistant when they were at school and they're both very good students. And Ashley was now in the market to buy a house and she did everything right. Why? She sat and basically binge watch all of my Instagram content and all of my first time home buyer resources. And she was like, put me in coach. I'm ready to go. I really didn't have to tell her to do much of anything besides point her in the direction of a lender. And she was like, okay, I'm pre-approved. And Hey, by the way, there's this house on Carrington drive that I really, really love, but it's under contract. And I was like, Oh my gosh, Ashley, you're never going to believe it. But I'm the listing agent on that. The owner of the house is an Urbana alumni and now you want to buy it. And so she was like, honestly, I would die for that house. I would do anything for that house. And I was like, well, it's under contract. As this transaction is unraveling, I was like, oh, Ashley, would you be interested in this house? And she was like, yes, I would. And I was like, okay, well, technically I represent uh, Brenda. So you're going to have to come correct. Now, thankfully you have binge watched all of my content. You know exactly what's going on. We had already seen some other houses and put in some offers that hadn't got accepted. I think at this point, you know, the type of offer you're going to have to write to get this one. And I'm going to let you direct me and tell me what you want so that I will write it up for you. Still keeping in mind that I represent Brenda. I'll write it up for you and I'll see if they accept it. And because she was a good student and she listened to me. What can I say, guys? Listen, if you just listen to me, your life will be so much easier. When when you don't listen to me, things go wrong. And that's just a fact. As a teacher, as a human, as a real estate agent, just fucking listen to me. So Ashley listened to me. And Ashley is now the owner of that home because she listened. She did all of the things right. And she, at the end, crafted her own offer that beat out the other offers because she had already been out there and kind of experiencing the market. So what does that teach us? Number one, it teaches us about agency. I represented the seller. I had signed a contract with the seller and I said, listen, Ashley, even though you came to me and you wanted me to be your agent in this transaction, I'm not representing you. My job is to represent the sellers. Ashley just came correct, came correct as can be. Um, the other thing that this teaches us is that sometimes you got to get kicked down a couple times in this market and lose a couple houses to know when it's really time to go the extra mile, go, think outside of the box and write that kick-ass offer that gets you into a house. It also teaches us that I'm always right. And if you're my student, you will go far in life. You will get everything that you could possibly want if you listen to me. Thanks for coming to the Keeping It Real podcast. We'll see you next time.